In April 2016, Armenia and Azerbaijan opened fire on one another, rekindling a bloody war over their borders. The two countries have been rivals since their founding nearly a century ago, and even after more than a dozen ceasefires have repeatedly clashed over long-standing regional disputes. So why do Armenia and Azerbaijan hate each other? Well, the two were actually once part of a larger country, the Transcaucasian Federation. In the aftermath of World War I, this country divided into modern-day Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan, all three of which were integrated into the Soviet Union. Within Azerbaijan, the USSR created an autonomous region for ethnic Armenians called Nagorno-Karabakh. Some historians speculate that Joseph Stalin deliberately included this region in Azerbaijan to appease Turkey, hoping that the country would one day become communist. Broader consensus, however, suggests that the decision was part of Stalin's divide and rule strategy, thus ensuring Armenian cooperation with the Soviet Union. Nagorno-Karabakh is still a highly disputed territory and the crux of their modern feud. Throughout the 20th century, Nagorno-Karabakh made several attempts to unite with Armenia as their population is by and large ethnically Armenian. Seeing the weakening of the Soviet Union in the late 1980s, Nagorno-Karabakh held a referendum declaring themselves a sovereign state. However, Azerbaijan promptly rejected that, leading to a six-year war between the two countries. Hundreds of thousands of Armenians fled Azerbaijan and vice versa, and both sides have accused each other of war crimes, including ethnic cleansing and mutilation. An estimated 30,000 lives were lost on both sides. By 1994, Armenian forces had taken control of Nagorno-Karabakh and much of the surrounding territory, leaving Azerbaijan about 15% smaller. After a Russian-brokered ceasefire that same year, the war officially ended, and Nagorno-Karabakh claimed de facto independence. But despite the agreement, sporadic violence continued, the largest of which broke out in early 2016. Today, Nagorno-Karabakh remains under Armenian separatist control. The region is relatively small and is only home to roughly 150,000 people, nearly all of which are ethnically Armenian. Technically, the country is still part of Azerbaijan. Although Nagorno-Karabakh declared independence, the claim has not been recognized by any country, including Armenia. Since the end of the war, Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Nagorno-Karabakh have accepted a number of ceasefire agreements. Each one has been broken, however, some within minutes of their signing. Azerbaijan has refused to negotiate the future of Nagorno-Karabakh until Armenia pulls its troops out of the region. But Armenia will not withdraw forces until there is some form of resolution creating a frozen conflict. Further complicating the matter are Armenia and Azerbaijan's respective allies, Russia and Turkey. As a majority Christian country, Armenia is supported by Russia and much of the West, including the United States. Azerbaijan, on the other hand, enjoys close ties with Turkey, as both are majority Muslim, and Turkey is a longtime enemy of Armenia. With no clear solution or foreseeable end to this conflict, world powers have generally taken a back seat until circumstances force them to act. Until they do, the danger of yet another violent uprising will continue to plague the two nations. Tensions between Armenia and Turkey date back to the Ottoman Empire. At the heart of their turbulent relationship is what is controversially known as the Armenian Genocide. You can learn more about that in our video at the top. And to find out why Turkey and other nations still deny the Armenian Genocide, check out our video at the bottom. Thanks for watching Test Tube News, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos from us every day.